So we're out here in Moab at the Easter Jeep Safari, and this is our first day, and this is our first trail. It's a trail called Metal Masher, which makes me nervous because I've got a lot of metal on my rig that I don't want mashed. We got Matt with Bleepin' Jeep. How's it going, guys? He actually is the one that invited us out here, gave us a place to stay. Hey, we didn't make a call. Good morning. <laughs> How's it going? Good, good. It's good to see you. So yeah, it, you can see it's far from finished, but we're gonna take it out and start shaking it anyway. Heck yeah. Hope you brought your jacket and your goggles. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, big thanks to him and his crew. And uh, he's also our tour guide, I guess. I don't know if I'd call myself a tour guide. I thought you were leading. <laughs> from the bleeping Jeep crew, we've got bleeping Colt. Hey. <laughs> this rig. So curious, George. We've got the wagon, still unnamed. Hefe's coming into Can Am. He's gonna have Tucker with him. That's our camera, camera rig. Rory, are you gonna run this with us? Yeah. All right. We figured why not? We tag along. All right, and he is coming. He's bringing no, the ever Rory. famous Rory trail Rory nice Pretty dang exciting. So that's the Goonie Bird right there. Okay. And at the bottom of the Goonie Bird is the Goonie Bird toes. Some people say it's good luck to run over the toes. Some people say it's bad luck. And so they've made an actual trail all the way around so you like miss it by 50 feet. <laughs> so he's gonna hit it. We're gonna hit it and see. <laughs> There's the Goonie Bird toes. Extra good luck. Oh, I hope he's even going over him. <laughs> all right, so if it's bad luck, we're all we're, we're all in the world of hurt. So here we are at the trailhead of Metal Masher. It's gonna be, what words do they use? It's gonna be incredible. This Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> Jeep's jumping 50 feet in the air. <laughs> We brought the perfect rig, it's covered with metal. <laughs> All right, we finally got here where there's some obstacles. It's optional. Yeah. Camera doesn't do it justice, but that thing, that thing's a good about eight foot at least up there. I feel pretty good because the cameras are rolling that I actually made it because that's the first time the record's ever made it.
We need to lower crawl speed. It's a good day. I hope you're having fun. Okay, this is where you need to get the drone out. So the big question of the day, what kind of bird was that? Goonie bird. The Goonie bird. Was uh, running over the toes of the Goonie bird a good idea or a bad idea? Did it bring us good luck or did it bring us bad luck? We had good luck, they had bad luck, and we both drove over the Goonie bird toes. But then again, Rory was with us, so they had good luck. But then again, it still happened. Maybe it was gonna happen no matter what. Maybe luck had nothing to do with it. Now that we're already showing up. Oh. oh my. We're plenty full. I get to work on the Corvair. How cool is that? You realize how much of a pain in the butt it is now, huh? All right, All right, so the way this works is pretty simple. Right on the end of the line, we have a soft shackle, basically. So you can put that around any tube or uh, any small item. Just like that, simple hook, and you're ready to winch. If you have a tree, which there's not a lot of trees here in Utah, <laughs> you go to there, right? So now you're around a tree. If you have a bigger tree, you go to here and on down the line. There's three of these eight foot circumference. When you're ready to put this away, you put this around here, you slide it down, and then we're just gonna suck that whole thing into the winch. There you go. Thanks, Matt. Back to you, Ken. <laughs> well, this is awesome. So Matt showed me this. I knew I wanted it like right then because I'm cheap and I'm lazy, and this is gonna help me be cheap and lazy. All right, it's day two at Moab. We are here, I think we're doing, what's this called, Hell's Gate or? So the trail's called Hell's Revenge, and we're gonna be going through Hell's Gate. So everybody's just airing down and getting ready to go. So we'll take you up there and show you what we're doing today.
Oh my oh, goodness. Oh great, you go through a puddle. You, you, got, you got that. You want to spot her up this? I think so. Okay, let me go get a battery for the climb. Yeah, especially when you're fat. This is amazing. This, like, this is what I thought of when I think of wheeling in Moab, and that makes sense because this is what people always show. This is a great trail. So that was the end of day two, Hell's Revenge. It's been a great day. These guys have been a blast to hang out with. Bleeping Matt, bleeping Colt. Hey. You couldn't ask for two better uh, trail guides, spotters. Even if they do trick you into driving into a hot tub, you shouldn't have. Oh, we got one more. We're about to go hit one more. Let's go. All right. So, <laughs> to make that, that's that's an accomplishment. Awesome. Where's my applause? Oh, good job, Hi. Tucker. Woo! Hi. First time climb up potato yeah, salad. <laughs> First try. So, it is day, what day is it? Five. Okay, we did uh, two days of sitting at the booth, no riding. It is day five. 
We are here at the trailhead of the Rim Trail. It's rated a seven. It's Rudy's turn to drive, but I want to drive the first quarter mile. The first, the first quarter mile is the fun part, though. That's, <laughs> that's true. Either I'm driving it or I'm walking it. A technically difficult trail it's just a nerve-wracking trail because you're right on the edge and the whole road is canted this way and every once in a while there's a little bump that moves you a little further that's the problem So the trail we came up is called the Rim Trail, but it comes up here to this beautiful overlook. You can see pretty much the whole town of Moab, and uh, I'm super happy. I'm just stoked. Today, today's the first time that I really wa was outside watching the wagon go over obstacles. Rudy was driving it, and it just kind of got me really excited about how well it's performing with uh, on its first real wheeling trip, and it's not even really a wheeling rig it's a recovery rig but it's just it's really shining
There it is. We did some damage. That's pretty good, though, you know. Dude, if you look at every JL, their muffler's closed. <laughs> This is awesome. This Corvair is nice for off-road. It's terrible without a windshield. But aside from that, it's been at wonderful everywhere else. It's done every obstacle we've thrown at it. We're super happy with it. I'm, I'm down for another six months of just straight building. No sleep. <laughs> I'm pleased as punch at the performance of this wagon that me and my team built so it's a fantastic it was a fantastic display of wheeling prowess by rudy not to mention the fabrication skill that went into this by rudy, by rudy. <laughs> <laughs> it's friday morning here at easter jeep safari we're about to bug out we've got the hurricane car show we're headed to so I think uh, Matt and Colt took off on a trail early this morning. Coyote Canyon. Coyote Canyon. Wish we could have gone. It's been an awesome time. So it's been amazing. Testing the Corvair and hanging out with new friends. Thanks for having us. No problem. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for bringing something so cool. These are good guys. <laughs> you are too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>